Hi, welcome, I'm the Operating System and today we're gonna be checking a game called Super Crate Box. Not sure what it is about, but sounded interesting. And here we go. So since it's our first time playing, let's go on ahead and try the tutorial. So there we go, sit to jump. Looks like we have enemies. Fire makes enemies angry. Okay, so I have to be careful. Oh, and I'm supposed to get this. Okay, so I can actually can fire. And I died. Oops. Okay, so it, it looks like I change a uh, weapon whenever I pick up a crate. Oh no, that's a big enemy. And it's... whoops. Okay, so this is a bit harder than it seems. Have to be, have to think about each. Each weapon that I get as, as it comes. This is a bit harder than I expected, so now that I've gotten 10 crates, the door opened and I should be able to go in, in there. Whoops. Okay, I have to get to the door now. That's the whole objective. There we go, and that's the tutorial. Now red. Okay, let's go to level one. So it looks like there's different uh, levels of difficulty, which I have not unlocked. So let's go, level one. I died at two crates, so only eight crates to the next weapon. Score ten to unlock the next level. Okay, so each level seems to have only ten. So I have to be careful. Oh, I didn't know that I could die to to the fire. That's good to know that that's a, a way to die. And that was three crates. Where's the next crate? Oh, there it is. And couldn't jump over the, the crate. Whoops. So I have to be. Oh cool, I got a new revolver, it's like the pistol, but... Okay, I have to try to plan to, to keep as many of these enemies from getting to the bottom. Already, I keep messing up that jump. Okay, 
this game is a bit harder than I expected it to be since uh, I have to be running around and trying to avoid all these enemies. It's definitely a lot more fun than, than what the name implied. And there's that one. Don't know how I fell down so quickly. Okay, have to be careful. And I got a flamethrower. So yeah, burn them. <laughs> It looks like the, the more enemies I kill, the the bigger they become and the harder to kill they, they become. And getting up to, to the top floor is quite a challenge. Since all the enemies just spawn there really quickly. Okay. That was a bit scary. Don't know why I'm jumping so much. Oh, the fire also burns me, so I have to be careful with that. So I have to be careful with the fire, my own fire too. Okay, I think that's my opening. Nope, <laughs> just ran into him. One, two, three. No, no. That's it. You okay, have to plan a bit better how to get to the top floor. So it, it looks like they have a limited amount of lives on how many times they can burn. Because... Uh, I thought I had it. Okay. See, it wouldn't make sense that they that they all they get back to back here every single time. If not, they have a limited amount of hit points that I I can abuse. That was a mistake. Ah. Barely got out of that one. And that's it. They just sped up too much and handle it. One, two, and keep messing up on that those close jumps. And I got a new gun, the disc gun. So I'll probably get it here. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. It bounces. Not very useful, but it's fun, nevertheless. And I wait for it, and... Okay. Now I should be able to get to the other side. Ah, didn't shoot fast enough. Okay. What killed me? Does the disc gun also kill me? Okay, so I'm, 
I'm gonna have to be careful with this gun. And just jumped into the fire, that's smart. Whoops. And mess there. Mess that up. Yeah. Okay, so the disc gum does kill me if I get hit by the disc, so I have to be careful with that. And that's the flamethrower, not saving me there. So the disc gun is very powerful by what it, it seems, but I have to be very careful that it doesn't kill me at, at the same time. And didn't turn around quickly enough there. Yeah, I'm not doing that, that quick turn fast enough. So shotgun, two shots for the big guy, and zero shots for the small guy. Looks like this one has a lot of ricochet, so have to be careful with that. Come on, give me an opening. There we go. And pointed it in the wrong direction. Okay, have to find a way up there that's a bit safe. Ah, it was pointing in the wrong direction. Just ran into them for some reason. <laughs> Killed myself with the with that. And couldn't jump for some reason. So now I have mines. Let's see how they work. Oh, so I just dropped mine and they just explode with them. Yeah, that's how they work. I'll probably have to be careful with those not to trap myself. Cool that they, they don't kill me like the disc blades. I have to be careful to the amount that I get. Oppa! <laughs> didn't realize that that was the disc and I thought it was the the mines. And just ran into him there. Get this. Drop the mine there. Ah, oh, I hit the bugs before before gra dropping the mine. So I have to be very careful with the display because it's the thing that has killed me the most. Yeah. Just walked into him. Yeah, a bit farther, but still not good enough. Don't know what that was. Okay. 
Didn't time that properly. So this looks to do less damage, but it's it'll hold at a very constant stream of bullets. So this is a very slow reload, but it's very powerful. And it'll hit many enemies on its radius. The dual gun is pretty useless in overall. Oh, I thought that would have killed him. Oh. I don't know what the, the changes of the character actually does. Might be that the change that each character has a different speed or some different ability. Oops, just jumped into that. That was close. And just jumped into there. I have to figure out a way to get up there. And messed up. Okay, so I have improved from doing only 4 to 5, but that's still not enough. I need 10. But I like that this ability of the Azuka that you know, hit everything, even. Even when it, when it hits uh, a wall, it uh, still activate. But its low reload makes it kind of hard. Okay, <laughs> that was a mistake. I was hoping to jump over. Oh, check it out! A new new gun, a mini gun. So, I like that. Shakes the screen and everything. Yeah, I gotta change this weapon as soon as I can. <laughs> That's probably my weapon. Mines are pretty cool, they're just hard to use Because you can only have one at a time I didn't know how to get out of that one, so well, six crates, getting better. But I think I'm gonna leave it here. I hope you enjoyed this first preview of, of Super Crate Box. I'm gonna try to do a couple more videos. Seeing, but since it doesn't seem to have much of a story, I, I'll just be a couple of previews and checking the game out. Just have curiosity, check the stats. So 150 sand crates, kills and deaths, and I don't get what the minutes are. And looks like the different maps have different scores. These are all the enemies. And the characters. Oh, it, it looks like I unlocked the characters. Oh, that wasn't what I'm. Okay, 
ourselves. So it, it looks like I can select what character I, I like most. Doesn't look like they have m many parts, so I'm gonna leave it like that and that that's my first playthrough. So thanks for watching. If you liked, subscribe and like on this video. Thanks. Peace.